starts now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jane McCarthy. Thanks for being with us. I'm Randy Shaw. The Tapio Center on 2nd and Freya sits just a few yards away from I-90. And it's the final piece of property in the North-South Freeway Master Plan. The state says it will eventually have to buy the Tapio Center, but the owners say they're being treated unfairly in the process. Crime Chief Mike Gonzalez talked with the owners who are suing the state now. He's live with this Two on Your Side report. Mike? Well, Jane and Randy, the Tapio Center, it's an office park with about 100 office spaces, restaurants, and other various businesses. And the owners of the park say the state has purposely blighted that neighborhood around the center and made the value of the office park essentially worthless. The building was identified by a uh, colored banner. John Stager is proud of the Tapio Office Park. Flavor Cafe is, uh, has, offers coffee and lunches for all the tenants at Tapio. His family, along with four other local families, purchased the property in 1989. His dream, build Tapio into the finest office park in Spokane. But that dream turned into a nightmare in the mid-90s when he received word from the state of Washington the North-South Freeway would tear right through the complex. It's just a huge cloud of uncertainty, you know, for the tenants. They don't know how long they're going to be able to do business here. I have to answer those types of questions when we, you know, discuss lease negotiations. That uncertainty has meant tenants leaving, short-term leases, and empty office space. The, the most frustrating thing for Stager has been watching houses being torn down around him while he waits for answers from the state. Stager's lawyer, Kevin Roberts, says the state has strategically purchased the property around the Tapio, causing its value to drop, essentially putting the office park on layaway. I did reach out to the Attorney General's office for this story and they said they don't comment on pending litigation. I also spoke with a representative from the Department of Transportation who says the state simply does not have the money right now to purchase the Tapio Center and there's no timeline on when they will. And in the lawsuit it's going to come out that this has been a calculated uh, manner of doing business in terms of acquiring properties for the North-South Freeway and calculated to create a blight and depressed neighborhood along this freeway corridor so that they can reduce the amount of money that they have to pay uh, the landowners. Robert shared this internal DOT email dated October 9th of 2006 to support his argument. It was part of a case that involved the old Ziggy store on Market, who at the time was in a similar circumstance as the Tapio. In it, the state outlines a strategy of purchasing property around the store, blighting the area, then buying that property at a reduced price. When Stager saw the email, it just confirmed his suspicions. And now it all makes sense, you know. The values are down, people have scattered, there's vacant blight around us, and we're sitting here begging uh, to be treated fairly. And we have to go to even a trial to do that. That trial was set for January of 2014 in Spokane Superior Court, but the state has motioned for a continuance, dragging on a case that's been more than a decade in the making. And we've been waiting. We have appraisals that have been done. We have all of our documentation in place. Right. We're ready. And we continue to get pushed back, pushed back. And as, as a taxpayer, and to see that they've hired outside counsel, it feels like this is dragging on and on and on, all at the backs of our investment group and on the backs of the tenants that are here at Tapio. And Stager says he's not looking to make a profit on the Tapio at this point. He just wants just compensation. He just wishes the state would communicate with him so that he can get some clear answers. And if you'd like to read that email that we had in this story, we put it on our website, krem.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Mike Gonzalez, Krem 2 News. A judge is sentenced to former WSU 